Now, meteorologist Cameron Saliga and your Storm Team 2 forecast. Sounds like great odds to me, but what uh, as we go into the nighttime are the odds for some showers? Well, they are likely they are more one of one compared to one in 300 and whatever million that she just said. But as we look at your uh, temperatures starting off the day tomorrow, it's already going to be into the 60s early on 61 degrees at 8 a.m. And then as we go through the daytime, we see those temps continuing to rise, but not too much right around 63 degrees or so. We have chances of rain as we mainly go through the morning hours, but there could be some lighter showers as we go into the afternoon hour. Still seeing those cloudy skies as we go through your day tomorrow. In headlines, we have warm conditions outside tonight, but it's going to be also uh, brought in with heavy rain overnight and into your Tuesday morning. Rain possible as we go into the nighttime Tuesday, but then we, bat we cool back down to near normal as we go into the second half of the week. And the temperatures over the next 12 hours, they are going to stagnate right around uh, 57 to 59 degrees here into the Miami Valley. The one thing that is going to change though are those winds as that low nears closer and closer. We're going to go from the single digits to the teens as we go into those morning hours as that system continues to move northeastward and we'll see those winds gusting tomorrow upwards of 35 miles per hour. Highs tomorrow getting up to 64 here into Dayton. Not much different for, from the north as we see that uh, as we will be in the warm sector of this uh, system going through the daytime tomorrow with those temperatures into the 60s area wide. The Bryant Heating and Cooling Systems uh, camera out there on 75. You see tra cars traveling along there just fine as uh, we go into the uh, four or the second half hour of the four o'clock here. And uh, as we look outside, we still do see those gray skies, but no rain here at the moment. We're staying dry here in the Miami Valley. And uh, as we zoom on out, you do see some rain there into parts of Kentucky, into parts of Indiana. It's that warm front is moving through right now, but we see the bulk of the rain, the storms all the way down to the south into the uh, south. There are some tornado watches, tornado warnings as well. There is severe weather down to the south today and tomorrow, but we will not be seeing any of that severe weather here into the Miami Valley, but you could hear a rumble of thunder. I would not be shocked to hear that going through the nighttime tonight. 59 for your current temperature, 81% humidity with that dew point at 53 degrees. Pretty, uh, pretty uh, insane to see those dew points all the way up into the 50s to start the uh, month of January off and those winds pretty calm five miles per hour. But again, those things are going to be increasing through the day or through the nighttime. Right now, those temps up to the north ahead of that warm front, right around 51 degrees, just south of that. Troy, you're five degrees warmer. And just south of that, you're nearly five degrees warmer there in Springboro, 60 degrees. We have 61 there into Wilmington. Future track through the nighttime, those showers are possible as we go into the early night. They would be light in nature. Then eventually, as that system continues moving northeastward, we'll see the heavy rain move in at right, at right around midnight into the 1 a.m. time frame and continue all through the nighttime. We see heavy rain at times, and that's where we could get some uh, localized heavy rainfall, possibly upwards of two inches, but most of us seeing upwards of one to one and a half inches here. But we do see a chance as we go into the nighttime on your uh, into your nighttime tomorrow. There is a slight chance of seeing some rain before we start to clear on out for the second half of the week. Now this is the NAM model showing the amount of rainfall that we can see upwards of one to one and a half inches here in Dayton. The further north you go, the less you will see. So you could see under an inch just uh, in those northern counties. Auglaize, Mercer, Logan counties could see the least of the rain. Now as we look at your temperatures tonight, 57 degrees. We could have fog at times, but uh, not as bad as what we saw the recent nights. Showers heavy at times as well. Those winds up to 25 miles per hour. Tomorrow we get it up to 64, mainly in the morning time are those showers. But eventually as we go to the second half of the week, a big cool down on the way, more near normal for winter time, right around the 40s, a chance of rain and snow going into the weekend.